Here comes the thunder vlogs. I am the alpha wolf. Hey guys, what's going on today? I got some late breaking news. Last night, you, you would not believe this. For the first time in ECHL history, my local hockey team had 5,178 fans last night. I, last night, and we and we won over Reading, three to one. I was so happy, and uh, before that game got started, I was talking to a lot of players. Excuse me, I was talking. I was talking to some of the players that were, were coming in and one person I want to give a shout out to he has a channel Austin Ozlak and I saw him f for the first time this year he came up to me gave me a big hug and uh, he said to me I, I miss you buddy so I hugged him, do our handshake thing. But I wish he could still play with us though. But the game was getting a little bit dirty. Um, but every time that, that we scored, the, the entire Thunder Dome was in, was in amazed. Everyone, everyone stood up and said, yeah, first goal. Legend scored, no problem. We go overhead, two to one. Thunder Dome again, rocking. Yeah, two to one. Me, I ring my car bell. Like, I will ring the car bell for the score, and then I will ring the car bell for each, for each player who scored, and I did that three times. Now, and, and I was so happy that we won. Um, but that's the first time that we had that much fans in our arena for the first time in ECHL history. We never had five thousand one hundred and seventy-eight fans. I can tell you right now, we, no, I'm not a spokesman or anything, but I am the alpha wolf who, who is the, who is the boss wolf, and I want to say this, and that is, our fans for the, for, excuse me, our fans for the thunder, we are, we, I keep, I keep, I keep repeating myself. I don't like to do that. I have to start over. I'm sorry. Every, our fans, for the Thunder and, and myself, we are the loudest crowd ever within the ECHL. Two, we have a, a section called the Section and Hecklers. They heckle the other team. Um and they were and like every time they would score a goal, they would stand up and go, excuse my language, but I don't wanna say this word, but they keep saying, You suck, you suck. They 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 keep saying the same thing over again. And I'm looking over I I go, Come on guys You know because we are the, I'm going to rank um, the top five fans of all time for the ECHL teams, starting at number five, the Manchester Monarchs. Weak, very weak fans. They don't, they don't even care about their, their own team because... I got news for you guys. The Manchester Monarchs are looking for new owners, new in 
and new investors. Uh, and I want to, this is not news, but it's a rumor. Um, I heard that the, the, um, the city of Albany wants to get back into hockey. Let's put it that way. All right, number four. Um, the Reading Royals. The fans are loud, yes. Sweet jerseys. They can score goals. But they are lacking one thing. Very poor attendance. I saw on a YouTube video that they only had about like 200 fans. 100, maybe like, like 3,000. At number two. No, wait. Five, four, three. I, I, hold on. I'm at, I, I am at, at number three. That was number four. That was, I said, for Reading. Number three. And that would be the Worcester Wales. They're a good team. They have a, an awesome goaltender. Mitch Gillum. He's a thing. What they are lacking is they play dirty. Every time, um, I think it was the, let me see here. Alright, on October, yeah, on October 24th, when we played them, we, let's see, I, I can remember that, that we won, and they cannot even get off the ice. Because they want to fight after the game. And everyone in, in our building said, Get out of here. And, and I stood up and go, Come on, the game's done, we won. Take a shower. Bye. I mean, I like, I like Worcester though. Very good team. But at number, at number two, it's a tie between. No, let me. Oh, I know. The Newfoundland Growlers. I I have I have major. Right, let's put it this way. I have major beef with them. They play dirty, just like the Dan Barry Trashers of the UHL. I went to a game with. The, with Dan Barry taking on the Ice Ox again playoff game they 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 win their goalie goalie interference the referee I said we gonna allow it goal every and every fan in attendance was throwing beer bottles programs and I, I had a guy said. Don't throw anything on the ice. They kept on throwing stuff and throwing stuff. Got me. That game got done around 1 o'clock in the morning. Number one. Number one fans of all time. The Adirondack Thunder. Because we are the best team going. Now I can... You know why? Because our fans are more hardcore than every team that I have mentioned. And also, like every time they would do like warm ups, like um, one guy mouthed off at me one time. Um, I mean, I mean, I, I'm like, I go, I go. I I, st I usually like stand up uh, stand up for the warm ups and I would go hey get off the ice get off the ice man and this guy looked at me and goes ooh beep you and I'm like come on you wanna go nope he was too chicken so he took a shower <laughs> so number one fans of all time is the thunder. Because we are the, are the most hardcore fans alive. And 
Um, to my attention, it looks like the boss wolf is coming in. Excuse me for one second. Oh, I got my hat though, but it's me though. So, I'm going to okay. So, I'll be right back after get the boss wolf. Yo, boss wolf, are you here? Yeah, man. What are we going to talk about today? Uh, I got some major announcements. I am the Boss Wolf. This is the Boss Wolf Vlogs. Hey guys, what's going on today? <laughs> Anyways, uh, I have some announcements to make. And that is, uh, I got the confirmation. I'm not going to tell you who, who, who sent me this and the information as well. It looks like I might be going to Boston. N not Friday. It could be it could be Saturday. Because um number one, the Boston Bruins are playing on Saturday. We could uh, me and my cousin might be doing that. On Sunday, go to some college games. I'm not gonna say what team who made the 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 college playoffs. But I might be going to that on Sunday. Then the following week, on the 9th and 10th, I might be going back again, maybe. I don't know yet. Um, but I might have to miss two games, though. Um, if they can advance or not. Um, so, anyways, uh, that's my announcement. And also... We have about 21 games left um, for the Thunder. And don't forget, on Tuesday, uh, one, of our th our th one of our Thunder players of Peter MacArthur is coming for a special video and an and a interview with the Alpha Wolf. about the transition of hockey and some topics we're going to talk about. This is important to me, which I said, I'm going to do a, a follow-up video and I'm going to tell you why um, this, this more involves with the teams from the past. Um, let's put, so, that's what the vlog is about today, about the top five fans of all time, uh, the game last night, and my announcements. Um, that's the most uh, concerned that I, I was worried about and I had to uh, tell you. So favorite, like, share, and subscribe to me. And also turn on your um hold on, the flame lighting so and and smash the lighting. Let me see that again. Smash the lighting royals like button over eight times for the final score for today will be eight to the eight goals to. Two. I am the boss wolf and the and the alpha wolf. I'll see you guys later and turn on and, and turn on anything else. New video up right now. And that's another video I'm going to I'm going to do. So this is this is very important. This is for a hockey team and. I know a player who wants this shout out.